It's National Clean Your Room Day today. Uh, Langley, are you going to be cleaning your room today because of it? It's already clean. It's already clean. Uh, I can neither confirm or deny the status of my room. I can tell you that it is going to improve within the next 10 years. It's already clean, but I'll clean it again. Uh, I clean my room like once every like two or three days. And uh, no, I'm not cleaning my room today. Good morning, Stratford. I'm Haley for a lot. And I'm Brandon for a lot. It's an E-Day. Today's clean up your room day. Happy birthday to seniors Nathan Dummett and Alian Koja and freshman Lane Cole. Today's weather calls for scattered thunderstorms and a high of 77. Beginning today, students in preschool and lower school, grades 3K through 5K, will not be required to wear masks for the final three weeks of the school year. The gazebo asked head of school, Mr. Logan Bolds, about the new policy. He also shared with us about the new technology plans for the school and a groundbreaking on a new playground at the preschool. So the new policy is that we have moved from requiring the masks of students in grades 3K through 5th to where we are now saying we are encouraging them, meaning they are optional. Um, really, the only students who have been masked for the majority of the year have actually been first through fifth graders. But then we started seeing the surges in January. <clears throat> we required them of 3K, 4K, and kindergarten. However, we have not logged a single case in the preschool or the lower school since December. So um, we sat down this week with Nurse Lee and looking over some new guidelines from Governor's, Governor Kemp's office as well as the fact that we've got 80% of our faculty is now vaccinated. We haven't logged cases, like I said, since December. We've seen no person-to-person -person spread, and so we made the decision for the final three weeks in preschool and lower school to um, make the masks optional for our students. And do you anticipate middle school and upper school to have any relaxed mask mandates? Uh, no, not for the remainder of the year. We will most likely, just because there are only three weeks left, we've decided to, to stay because the data shows that we have logged cases in, in middle school and upper school, either among um, the student body or families. And so what we don't want to do this close to the end of the school year, particularly with exams, is the idea of going mask free and then having an outbreak and ruining, you know, the potential of, I mean, AP exams, we're so close to graduation, exams in middle school and high school, and so we just don't want to, we don't want to mess those up. Will things return to normal next fall or as normal as life can be? Now? Yeah, we're, we are planning for a, a, what we're calling a back to business sort of approach, um, which is back to the way school traditionally looked pre-pandemic. So masks would be optional. We know that there will be families, 3K through 12, masks will be optional. We know that there will be families and students who still wish to wear those, wear those, and teachers will facilitate, especially on the younger kids, if they want to do it, that that will be allowed. We'll, we'll continue to allow them to wear it. There will be no, there'll be normal lunchroom usage where, you know, all the grades will eat back in there. There'll be no attendance caps on the games. No, obviously none of the temperature checks or, or those sorts of things. Um, however, two pieces that are really exciting uh, because we have had these changes where we've had, we've realized the importance of technology as well as the importance of being outside, from the technology standpoint, we're actually going to replace all of the smart boards in every classroom with these big fancy new panels. Um, and we're actually tearing out the preschool playground and putting in a brand new preschool playground that's got like a rubberized track and um, uh, turf and it's got sunshades and musical instruments that are built in and actually that rubberized track around it is actual actually a, tri a, um, a tricycle track so we're buying all these tricycles that will stay out there and kids can ride around yeah it, it is state of the art one of the coolest playgrounds I've ever seen today we continue the countdown of the gazebo's top stories of the year with the number eight story Stratford's nominees for the prestigious Golden Eagle Award the Golden Eagles recognizes local high school seniors for their scholastic achievements and community service. The Macon Telegraph sponsors the Golden Eagles. This year is the 43rd year of Golden Eagles. Teachers nominate students who have done impressive work in their field. After being nominated, students go on to interview for the award. Stratford seniors were nominated in 13 of the 14 categories. The nominees were Claudia Pope for Art, Harmony Nagel for Athletics, Harris Ahmed for Citizenship, Sarah Piles for Drama, Maddie Fackler for English, Om Patel for Industrial Vocational, AJ Stevenson for Journalism or Marketing and Communication, 
Jocelyn Tang for math, Nora Jorgensen for music, Sabina Jean for science, Nathan Dummett for social science, Danny Zhao for technology, and Evie Tharp for world language. Reporting for the gazebo, Ashley Perel. Make plans to see Flow, a curated show put on by the advanced art class. There will be a binder with the artist's bios, artist statements, and a guest book to leave comments. Please let them know what you think of their artwork. The show will be up from April 28th through May 20th in the foyer of the front office. Any student planning on taking a final exam in the LSC must complete an exam plan form with Ms. Hayslip or Ms. Khan before May 4th. Here are today's additional announcements. Have a wonderful day, Haley. Have a wonderful day, Brandon. Have, Have a, a wonderful, wonderful day, day, Eagles. <laughs> that was actually fine. <laughs> <laughs>